So I'm back and right now we are looking at the background and traits that you can start the game with and I hope that this helps you guys bring your class to fruition when the game comes out when you get your hands on it. You can look at these a little bit more in depth and, and try and make your mind up on what you want to do. There's a lot of fun stuff here. So if this video helps, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and I am easy now. I'm covering for DPJ. He'll be back soon. If you want to check out my channel, you can. It'll be down below, but you don't have to. But let's get straight into the background. So we have the Beast Hunter. Basically, you learn the skills to track, find alien life and take them down. And the starting skills you get are fitness, which gives you an increased lung capacity, which means you'll probably be able to run longer or have oxygen in places where other backgrounds may not have the amount of oxygen that you have as a beast hunter. We have ballistics, which reads Century of Conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high speed projectiles. It's got a picture of a little pistol. So I'm assuming you get a buff to pistols or certain types of weapons so you could do more damage to take down the aliens. And then you have gastronomy, which is you can prepare foods delicious foods we don't know how that transfers into the game yet and i believe it's probably like you get some buffs so you can heal yourself so that's a good set of perks that kind of work together so you can cook all the things that you kill you know so it's a fairly cool class in my opinion then we have bouncer which as you can see is just melee combat unarmed combat so you got Probably increased damage with your boxing skill to your fists. You've got security, which helps with breaking codes and lock picking and getting into things and security systems. And then we have the fitness perk as well. So if you want to go pure unarmed combat melee, this is the background for you. So Bounty Hunter for me is what I think is going to be the great beginner class when you're new to a game. This just looks like it has all the things that you need to kind of get you feet wet and then maybe make a second character with something else so basically you get better piloting you get better targeting controls when you're in dogfights and space fights and you get the boost pack training which is the jetpack that you can get where you can kind of like jetpack through the air so you can get above enemies and shoot down on them whereas other backgrounds won't get that chance so i think generally with all this stuff it's like a good starter pack for a brand new player next we have chef which again is to do with cooking things and making culinary masterpieces as it says up there this is slightly different to the beast hunter you still get the gastronomy perk so you'll be able to prepare delicious foods and drinks we also have dueling so you're going to have close attacks with a melee weapon can often be deadlier than ranged combat so it seems like knives or close-up melees will do more damage and then we have scavenging there are those who can find just about anything and their success is usually dependent on knowing how and where to look so that to me tells you you're going to get probably some rarer items now and again you'll probably get more items when you're scavenging and you know it's a it's a cool little interesting background if this is your kind of thing go for it we have the combat medic here which i think will also be a good beginner class because you're going to be able to heal yourself by the looks of it you start off with pistol certification so you probably get a better control over your weapon you'll be able to use pistols a little bit easier than you would if you didn't have this background We've got medicine, which obviously means you could probably bandage yourself, heal yourself. So, you know, you get some of your energy back, your health back without having to maybe sleep or eat. And then we have wellness by embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habits. One may improve the overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. That tells me you can increase your health points through other things that you do as this class. Cyber Runner is your stealth pickpocket class. And as you can see right there, it's fairly obvious. We've got stealth here so you can approach a target while undetected so you'll be able to crouch behind people run up to them kill them with a silenced weapon or a melee weapon and it's going to make it a lot easier having this class to do that we've got the security perk so you can break into things and we've got a theft perk a starting skill which obviously means you can pickpocket people maybe a little bit easier than you can without this background or maybe this is the only background can actually pickpocket with cyberneticist is your machine type class so you'll be able to have robots Mia Toys, Neuro Amps, good for parlor tricks as it reads up at the top. Um, so you get the medicine perk, which again, like the combat medic, you could probably heal yourself. You can break into things with the security perk. And then we have the new perk, lasers, which increases their effectiveness for laser based weapons. So that if you that's what you want to go and you want to hit people with lasers, this might be a good one for you if you want to use like robots and stuff as well and machine type things. 
Diplomat is going to open up various quests for you because when you're talking to people, having certain backgrounds means you'll get to be able to do different things. And this is all about talking. We've got persuasion. So you'll be able to probably do things in conversation that you wouldn't be able to do without this. Maybe you can actually persuade people a little bit easier to let you do something or you can stop them doing something. But if you want to like dive into more side quests and other stuff, this might be the background for you. We've got commerce um, with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. So you'll be able to do some business stuff, earn some extra money. And we've got the wellness perk, which we have already read about. So you might be able to increase your health with this one as well. I feel like this is a second playthrough type of background, in my opinion. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Next up, we have Explorer. So you get a personal laser weapon with this as well. We have Astrodynamics, which is going to allow you to get more capability out of your ship's grav drive. So you'll be able to travel further and do things a little bit easier when it comes to space. And then we have Surveying. Um, so you'll be able to have the ability to decipher all the data while on the ground, um, while you're scanning stuff and doing things, you'll probably get more information quicker and just have that side of the game just be a little bit more efficient. We don't know yet. I haven't got into the game, but that's what it feels like to me. Next up, we have Gangster, which I think is just a rough and tumble, get stuck in type of class. It allows you the shotgun certification, so close quarter combat with a shotgun, you're going to be pretty deadly and be more proficient with the weapon. We have the unarmed combat boxing, and we also have theft on this, which is a bit of a surprise for me. I, I mean, it, it rolls with the idea of being a gangster, but, you know, I thought it'd be more rough and tumble rather than pickpocketing, but, you know, it's there. It's there for the taking. You can take things as a gangster. Next, we have Homesteader. We got a geology perk, um, newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some of the incredible technological advancements. So maybe you'll be able to get more minerals when you mine, maybe you'll be able to get specific ones that other backgrounds can't. Maybe you can sell them, maybe you can put them somewhere that someone might want them, they might do things for quests. It's going to be a whole interesting perk in my opinion. And then we've got the surveying perk, which we've already spoke about and weightlifting which will allow you to carry more things so all those minerals you get in you'll be able to carry them because you'll have more space for the industrialist it just seems like a more of a passive kind of playthrough you get the persuasion perk to be able to talk to people and do things in conversation we have the security perk so you can break into things and decode things and then we have research methods which allows you to complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insights so you may get some information that you know could be useful in the game that you wouldn't get with any other background by doing things on this character researching and projects and stuff so very cool little interesting idea there i don't know whether i'll use it personally but i, I feel there's a market for it now we have Long Hauler, which is all about space and traveling in space. We get the weightlifting perk, which allows you to carry more stuff both in space and on the ground. We have the piloting perk, which will obviously increase how your ship handles. And we've got the ballistic weapons systems, which is going to improve your weapon systems on your ship when you're fighting and getting involved in stuff. So I feel like this is a pretty cool thing to do as well, especially if you want to like transfer things from planet to planet or you've got to go collect some stuff. You're going to be able to do it fairly easier than other backgrounds. Next up, we have Pilgrim, which we've already seen all these perks, scavenging, surveying and gastronomy. It kind of feels like you're bare bones into the game and you've got to like search for things and find things and then make your way up the kind of like the totem pole and you start off with barely anything and you're trying to survive. That's what that feels like to me. And, you know, I feel like if people want to challenge, this is probably the way to go. Professor, we have another bunch of skills that we already know. All this stuff is based around research and science and being able to do things that other classes might not be able to do. Like we have the astrodynamics, which will allow you to jump further with your grab drive. Geology, which we which I believe to be like minerals and studying and stuff, and we've got research methods too. So another cool little interesting character, one that I probably won't use, but you know, some interesting starting skills. Next up, we have Ronin, which is kind of another type of stealthy kind of class. We've got the stealth perk, obviously we've got dueling, so you get more damage with that close quarter melee weapon. And we have scavenging as well. So another type of stealthy kind of class with just a little bit more focus on attacking people from stealth, like a rogue from, world of warcraft rather than just like a stealthy pickpocket guy so cool perks this is one i might try as well sculptor feels like another kind of reserved class where you're not really getting involved in stuff other than 
persuasion perk being conversations and stuff we've got the medicine to make yourself feel a little bit better and a little bit healthier and also the geology perk so you know kind of like a reserved class with some interesting perks put together soldier i believe is another kind of beginner kind of get in the face and just kill things type of situation we've got the fitness perk for more lung capacity ballistics to help with your power of your weapons i believe and boost pack training again you'll be able to get up and get up on top of people and shoot down on them jetpack around make traveling a little bit easier so soldier is probably what i'm gonna start with for my first run through see how it feels and then i may be might make a second character if soldier is a bit too boring which i feel like it might be after time but all the other perks and that you open up will probably make it a bit more interesting space scoundrel pistol certification so you know more efficiency with your pistols piloting to have better you know control over your spaceship and persuasion to talk to people it says here space scoundrel seems kind of like a little bit of like a con man type of class interesting wonder what it's like i wonder what you can do in terms of like in conversations and things like that and what kind of side quest you'll get but you know i don't think it's a main class that people will choose on their first run xeno biologist i believe you can control monsters with this class so you start off with lasers surveying and fitness which we've already looked at so if you want to go in and take control of some monsters this is the one for you and i feel like a lot of the other backgrounds that we have will have interesting things like that which aren't mentioned here you find out as you go through the game but this was obviously shown in the starfield direct and stuff too and then we have file not found oddly there is no information on file about your past life clerical oversight question mark deletion by some powerful unknown faction question mark or was a just nothing of note to mention question mark whatever the reason your past is only known to you what's important is here and now and the path you're about to forge i don't know i don't quite know what this is but it feels like it's more of a you build your own backstory i guess so you'll get involved in some conversations where you get asked something and then you might get to choose what your backstory is and all the other backgrounds might have built in kind of like lore and backgrounds to them so very very interesting we've got wellness ballistics and piloting a next stop where you really kind of make your character interesting and your own are the traits you get to choose three of them off the bat one of them is alien dna you volunteer for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human dna as a result you start with increased health and oxygen but healing and food items aren't as effective so let's say you pick maybe chef with alien dna it might balance out how healing and food items work because obviously you get proficiency in gastro gastronomy i hate that word um and this this it might balance it out so it's a very interesting choice kind of for your character and how you start then we've got dream home you own a luxurious customizable house on a peaceful planet unfortunately it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with gal bank that has to be paid weekly so I don't even know how anyone's going to do this. I don't know how credits work in this game, but 125,000 credits weekly seems a little bit excessive. So who knows how you're going to actually figure this one out if this is your choice. I'm definitely not choosing it. We have empath. You are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions like will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness. But performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. So with empath, you're going to have to really think about what you're saying in, you know, conversations, what you did determine is worth going to fight for so let's say you're on a planet and you go and kill some aliens but your companion doesn't like that you do that you're then going to be weaker in combat so it's going to be a very interesting discovery of how your companions work and how this perk works with them a little bit difficult in my opinion for like a first time out on this game more of a second run through type of trait in my opinion extrovert you're a people person exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions so when you have a human companion your oxygen is going to be a bit more efficient and last a little bit longer which is a cool perk and i think something you can throw on any class any background and it will fit in nicely free star collective settler you gain access to special free star collective dialogue options and better rewards from some of the missions given by the faction but crime bounties towards other factions 
are greatly increased. So this feels like it's obviously going to give you a direct quest line and a, a whole bunch of different quests with this specific faction. Um, and maybe that gives you an automatic disadvantage when kind of engaging other factions. So it's going to be a very kind of like, oh, shall I choose this and risk it type of situation? But I think it'll be pretty cool, especially if you're getting those, um, those bonuses and stuff. Hero Worship, we've seen this on the Starfield Director. I hope you have. And basically, this guy just follows you around, chases you around, and just shouts at you and does things. Um, you know, he could be on your crew. He can give you gifts. So that's a that's a fun thing, I guess. If, but I don't know if you want to waste a trait on it on the first run through. Introvert, the opposite of extra, obviously. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when you're adventuring alone, but more when you have a human companion. So if you don't want to have companions on your planets and stuff, this is the perk for you. Kid stuff, your parents are alive and well and you can visit them at their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. I feel like this just means that you're going to get some quest lines from your parents. They're always there ready to go to. You know, they've probably got a home you can go and sleep at and, and rest at and get some food maybe potentially. Who knows, but you do have to send them 2% of your credits. So if that's the thing you want, you want some extra story, this is the trait for you. Much like the Free Star Collective Settler, we've got Neon Street Rat, which is the same stuff, but for the faction of Neon, which is another planet. And, you know, same thing, more bonuses and things of that nature. Raised Enlightened, you grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to a special chest full of items in the House of the Enlightened in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. And the raised universal is the opposite. So you pick one of these and it's kind of like just like putting your allegiance to one side and you get rewards from those people that you give the allegiance to. I'm probably going to choose one of these because I think it's a, a pretty cool, interesting thing. And I'm, I'm very interested in what they give you. Serpent's Embrace. You grew up worshipping the Great Serpent. Grav Jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly. It's like an addiction. So if you're going to be going from planet to planet really, really quickly because you want to explore the game, this perk is going to give you a lot of bonuses. But if you're kind of like the chill player and you just want to like really explore the one planet that you're on, this might be very detrimental to you. So it's, it's really cool that, you know, it's not just traits in the terms of you get buffs. There's also negatives to it as well if you choose it. Spaced. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when on the surface. So if you're a planet explorer, this might not be the one for you, unless you can like mix it with some other things and maybe get some boosts to your health. Um, but if you're in space and you're a space boy, this one will be the perk for you taskmaster occasionally if you have crew trained in a certain ship system that's a tongue twister that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below 50 percent however all crew costs twice as much to hire i feel like this would be a pretty good perk because you got you got to worry less about your ship systems and it does feel like through all these traits that you are going to get quite a lot of credits so maybe potentially this is a good perk for any run through and maybe say so I'm going to pick. Terra Firma is the opposite of spaced, where your health and oxygen will be increased on the surface, but decreased while you're in space. I think this will be a perk that I choose as well, because I'm very much about exploring on planets and such things. United Colonies Native is just like the other faction ones, where you'll get missions and bonuses and more loot from one specific faction on a specific planet, just like the Neon one and the Free Star Collective Settler. Then we have wanted someone put a price on your head and word has spread occasionally armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you but being cornered gives you an edge when your health is low you do extra damage now i wonder if that's um for all situations or just when the mercenaries show up because having extra damage when your health gets low will be very important in my opinion but i feel like this perk is just for people who want to go really balls to the wall and have a challenge so I think for me, after I've chosen my background, these are the traits I'm going to start with. So I get the free star bonuses, I get the enlightened bonuses, and while I'm on planets, I get increased oxygen and health. So it's very cool that you can have very unique characters. And obviously, when you're in game and you get more perks and you level up and stuff, you're going to be add, adding more to your character on a regular basis. So... You know, those are the backgrounds and traits in depth. If you haven't seen these yet, I hope this video helps you out. It's a little bit of a long one, so if you're still here, I appreciate you. 
hit the like button let me know down below what your background and traits are going to be and yeah enjoy thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome